Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to HLI Builder and I'm your build partner Leo. We are here today to build this amazing chuck glider and this one is dedicated to all the kids that are out there who are so enthusiastic to fly. Take a very good look at the model, it's beautiful. We call it the Macau, it comes in different colors to reflect the Macau and the Macau parakeets. Okay, so you can uh, buy all the different colors if you want. And it flies really, really amazing. So I hope you're excited to build this. So let's go ahead and build the model. This is the kit. Okay. And uh, you can buy this off uh, by ordering it online at uh, www.happylandingsindia.com. That's www.happylandingsindia.com that's landings with an S okay so let's go ahead and open the cover okay let's see what this bundle of joy has to give us okay we have a balsa fuselage and we have the main wing Just take out everything from the cover. Okay, so this is the horizontal stabilizer. This is the vertical stabilizer. These are the reinforcement for the catapult launch. You have two rubber bands and you have two fish eyes. No, those are washers. Okay. Cool. So these are the items that come in the kit. Take a good look at them. All of them designed at HLI Model Sport and tested to give the maximum flight time for you and the maximum happiness for Let's the kids who want to play this. So this is the way. It's folded. Remove the tape. You can see that. Remove all the tapes and you will see the wing unfold. Can you see this? Yep. Okay. So when we're working on the wing, let's not have the other parts come in the way. So just move them aside. Be very careful not to make anything. Okay. So this is the wing. The tapered edge or the slant edge is the trailing part of the wing and the straight one is the leading edge. Okay? Fine. So you can take a scissor and you would see a line in the center. Okay, can you see this? Wonderful. So you need to squeeze along that line. Just press the scissor along that line and make a dent. Can you see that? Okay. This will help you to fold the wing a bit. Okay. Let's fold there. And just place the scissor like that. Okay. Do it slowly. Slowly. Yeah, and you would get that fold. Okay. So this is to give a bit of dihedral when in terms of the root of the wing. The center line is the root of the wing. Okay. So we need to give a bit of diagonal so that it has a very stable flight. And we have the polyhedral and the tips to give it more stability. So that's the wing. So what you could do to make sure that you have equal angles, you can either take a protractor to measure 35 degrees on both the sides and then glue them. Okay. Or you could just take your tail section. Let me see the vertical stabilizer. Take that at about halfway through. Just place it there, and you need a glue gun 
and glue it. Okay. Just hold in that position until the glue gun sets. You need to put the glue along the line that divides the tip section of the wing to the main section. Okay, can you see that? Let it cool down. It cools pretty quickly. Okay, you can blow on it if you want uh, to cool it faster. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that it's all dried up and pretty strong. Do the same thing on the other side and you should get the same angle so that your plane does not tilt in one direction. Okay. So after you've done with this, so so the wing on the side. let's move on to the fuselage. Okay, so the fuselage has been designed in such a way that the placement of all the parts of the aircraft are very simple. Okay, this marking, if you could take a closer look at it, indicates that the leading edge of the aircraft has to start, uh, of the wing, sorry, has to start from here. Okay, now since this is a catapult model, you would require to grip the aircraft at one point so that's a thumb distance here okay and from here is where your horizontal stabilizer then the vertical stabilizer would come so let's go ahead so what we would do initially is take the two support structure okay the reinforcement structure that you see saw that I told you before did you see this yes so we would go ahead and put this on the aircraft so we need to glue this you need to make sure all the tips coincide. Okay. Make sure all the tips coincide. And you get a clean, nice groove there so that your rubber band releases easily. Okay. So we'll go ahead and glue this. Put glue on the reinforcement first. Make sure not to burn your hand while doing this. Okay, let's place that slowly. Okay, okay, okay. Adult supervision is required while building this. Okay, can you see this? We have this clean, nice groove here and here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, glue the other reinforcement as well. Now that's solid as a rock. Okay, take a closer look. We have a clean groove here and here so that the leading edge can sit of the wing can sit properly as well as the rubber band can be released immediately during the launch. Okay. So let's move to the tail section of the aircraft. Now before you place the vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer, take a thumb distance so that you can hold it can you see that's an adult thumb distance not a kid okay <laughs> okay so post that what goes first is the horizontal stabilizer okay and then the vertical stabilizer okay so let's start with the horizontal stabilizer so make it, to make it easy, what you could do, but you need to be very quick on this, first, glue the center, okay, 
you have your one times paste okay place it now quickly make sure it's perpendicular it needs to make right angles can you see that okay and when you place it like this it needs to be parallel to the ground or your aircraft is going to go wobbly all the place okay good so once you've done this you can reinforce it with some more, some more glue make sure you don't put too much on there so as to not increase the weight okay let's give it some time to dry and while it does that what you need to do is need to put the vertical stabilizer in front of it like this so we will do the same thing again we will go to the bottom of the stabilizer okay you need to be quick with it okay Can you see that? So it needs to be in line. Okay. The plane sometimes does Spider Man thingy. Can you see the web? <laughs> okay. That's from the blue bar. Okay, so that's good enough. So our tail section is done. All that is left now is to mount the wing. Okay. So this is the way that we did. Okay. Now this is the center line and this is the leading edge. The one that's straight. It goes like this. Can you see that? Okay. If you can see. Okay. Good. Now the trick here is to glue the bottom along this line and then stick it and then you could reinforce it. Make sure you give a little bit of die handle to make it a small V there. Okay, and then place it. Okay, let's do that now. So I'm gluing the bottom of the wing. Straight line. Okay. And let's place it. Okay. okay. So I get rid of, rid of all these webby things. So let's allow it to set. Okay. So in the meantime, you could follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Okay, and you would learn a lot uh, from the new models that we're about to build. And we also have this special group in Facebook that's called Bangalore Aeromodeling Workshop. We've started that to answer all your queries, whether you're a beginner, you're a professional, we want to help you as much as possible so that you could give wings to your dreams. Okay, so please do uh, send out a request uh, to join the group and we would immediately accept you. Okay. So let's go back to the model. I think uh, that's a perfect set and we will glue it to reinforce the wing so that it doesn't come off. I'm very thankful to whoever invented this. It's pretty amazing. Okay. So let's just wait for that to set. We will remove all the web. 
I think he was in the spy, the spy, the spy that. Okay, that's gone. So let's wait for it to cool down. Okay, hold it down. Okay. And that's how it looks. Make sure it's at right angles to your fuselage. Otherwise, the lift is going to be high on one side and low on the other, and it's going to make the aircraft tilt again. So make sure it's at right angles. Okay. Very important. You can either do this by making sure the center line is coincident with the fuselage. Or you could take a set square that comes in your geometry box and get this done. Okay? Now, the very important aspect of flying an aircraft is balancing it. As per all the complicated rocket science and aeroscience or aeronautics, the center of gravity needs to come at the quarter of the cord. The cord is the shortest distance between the leading and the trailing edge. So you need to know all these jargons. So quarter of a cord. So if I would balance it at the quarter of a cord, it should stand balanced. But now we see that the tail is heavy. So what we do is we put weights in the nose. Okay. So that's what these fish eyes are. So washers. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that. This is a bit tricky part. Make sure you don't burn your fingers. At the front, you could see here, just in front of the groove, okay, you put the glue, don't burn your fingers, okay, you put the first washer, don't go ahead and put the second washer immediately, just give it a check so that you know where the center of gravity is. If your aircraft balances with one washer itself, don't go to put the other one. Okay, so I think it's pretty much balanced with one washer. Okay. If you want some more agility with it, you can try a second. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. I was holding it the wrong position. So we need another one. Maths doesn't go wrong. <laughs> so what you do, you need to make sure you don't put the washer too front or too behind, so that you have balance on this axis as well. Okay. So take the glue gun. Glue it, glue it, glue it, glue it, glue it. Okay. If you ever saw someone put pancakes there, that's how you need to glue. Okay. So the Macau is ready. Okay. What you could do, just to prevent the nose from getting damaged when it lands, you can just apply a little bit of glue there. Okay, that's it. So the glue takes in all the impact. Let's balance it and voila. That's beautifully balanced. Okay, so that's the Macau for you. I hope you enjoyed the build. Okay, so I will show you how to tie the rubber band. I'll just keep it aside so that it flies off. Okay, this is the stick uh, uh, that's going to act as the holder. Okay, and you have two rubber bands. <coughs> I would suggest you use both, or you could use one, whichever you prefer. So you can tie the bow together. So go like this, go like this. You would get something like this. Pull the other one outside. And yep, that's that's a very good. So uh, I just show you how to launch the model. So you have one end of the rubber band a duo tied to the stick, and the other end goes into the groove like so. Okay, can you see? And you need to hold at the end with your thumb, and you need to pull. 
That was an amazing flight and that's the Macau for you. So I hope all of you enjoy building this model as well. So to buy it, you can order it online on www.happylandingsindia.com That's www.happylandingsindia.com That's landings with an S. Okay, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such builds. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy it and wishing you all the best. Happy landings, guys!